this session we are going to be learning to make patterns using our paint and items that we have lying around the house for example bubble wrap just a circular object that came from a piece of tape that's finished a bottle cap or a pom-pom that is has been attached to a clothespin and there are many other items you may find lying around this is our sample sheet of the different patterns you can make now this bubble wrap pattern is so pretty it almost looks like a flower I'm just going to briefly show you how to make one of these stamps in order to make that stamp you're going to need a roll piece of bubble wrap that can go around the roll and some masking tape You're going to put an X at the top with the masking tape. And the reason we're doing this is so that when you stamp, everything doesn't go down and the middle is stamped as well. So we're putting that X on the masking tape. Now we're going to tape this we're going to tape this bubble wrap with the bubble facing up. The bubbles are facing up because the bubbles are what are going to give us our pattern. And we're going to tape that right around. Hold it in place and tape it as securely as you can. Now you might notice that mine looks really pretty and that's because I painted mine. Well, my daughter painted it for me. So there you can have a very simple bubble wrap pattern. Of course, instead of a roll, you can also wrap it around a small box or any other shape that you wish. Let's get started looking at our patterns. Of course, we're going to need a sheet of paper, paint, paint brushes, and whatever object you are using. Let's start by using our bubble wrap, our invented stamp bubble wrap. Okay, I'm going to use blue paint and we're just going to apply the paint onto the bubble wrap. Notice I did not stick the bubble wrap into the paint but I'm putting paint onto my brush and just applying it onto the bubble wrap. And let's see what happens when I do that. Ah, there you go. You get a very pretty pattern. Almost looks like a dandelion. Let's try the pom-pom attached to the clothespin. And as you see, I've used this before using red paint. So I'm going to use red paint again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my red paint has some water in it. Again, I like to use my bottle caps. Now I'm going to put my pom-pom into the red paint. And now I'm going to stamp. Now I can stamp a line, I can stamp a circle, I can stamp whatever I want. I think I'm going to do something different this time. Instead of a line, I'm going to do something like so. Actually, let's try our double circle. But here's another thing I can do. I can take my bottle cap, okay, plain bottle cap from, you know, bottle of water. I'm gonna put some yellow paint on my bottle cap. And I'm going to stamp the middle. Now I should have let that dry before I stamped it. Because as you can see, the green and the yellow are mixing. It's giving a very nice effect, by the way. Now if I just want circles by themselves, I can just and notice that I'm also pressing the middle of the bottle cap 
just to make sure that I can capture everything. So I hope you have fun making all sorts of patterned paper and I'm looking forward to hearing from you all the different types of objects that you have used to create your patterns. Remember to check us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest and of course you can subscribe to our YouTube channel.